Uh, my mother's name is, is Claire Preto, and I want to talk about her story. My mother, my parents, are the first black filmmakers in this country, right? Um, my mother has more than 30 years of experience in working the film and television industry, specifically as a producer, and always had great difficulty moving into the mainstream sphere. She was applying and going for jobs at some of the major media uh, organizations uh, in Canada. And almost all of them said that she was overqualified. The underlying part of this is that my mother has a specific uh, affinity for and um, support of the black community. They knew that if they hired my mother, she was going to bring people of color to the set. So if my mother was the executive producer, it meant that she would then go and hire 15, 20, 30 people of color, skilled, talented, educated people of color who would come and work on that set. And that often made people very uncomfortable. And so before she left, my mother didn't work for like two years. My mother and father came here in 1970. Uh, she left uh, Canada in 2007 just because there was nothing else for her here, really. Which is unfortunate because she leaves with all this experience. The amount of people that my mother, specifically young women of color, that my mother had mentored is basically a who's who of like the media, film, theater industry, especially the people of color. You know, and They always gave her awards but they wouldn't give her employment. People should have the right to fulfill the goals that they wanted to achieve. They shouldn't be blocked from achieving those goals, you know, based on something that is actually something that the country speaks about a lot, which is multiculturalism and equal opportunity and those sort of things. And so for that to be the reason why uh, someone like my mother couldn't get a job and stay in Canada and continue to make films about people of color here, for that to be the reason is a human rights issue.